Kate Word and welcome again to my channel here at Kate Word Art. You'll see that I love mixed media, texture, hard edges, geometry, collage, painting in layers, making my own papers with my jelly plate, and today I'm printmaking on my new 16 by 20 jelly plate. So stay tuned. Hello. Thank you for spending your YouTube time with me. I'm Kate Word, and today I want to just play on my plate with some paint and, and to push it around in a different way. I'm using a color shaper here. This is some heavy body artist loft paint. Uh, it's just labeled gray. It's a, it's a lighter mid-tone. And uh, this is a a very nice blending brush. If you ever are looking for a blending brush, Mod Podge makes this, I think that's the three inch, that's a three inch blending brush. Great blend, blending, that's hard to say, blending brush. Using my braid to sort of fade things out a little bit. Here I'm just kind of splashing on some Payne's gray fluid paint. Just, I just want to have some fun and, and just do some experimenting. Oh, and that's a, a, a darker mid-tone from Artist Loft. It's also a heavier body paint. But I'm using my color shaper here to just kind of blend the Payne's gray and just kind of sweeping things around. making really some more gestural, gestural, goodness gracious, it's hard to say, uh, marks, even with my brayer, just sort of uh, seeing what what happens if I move my hand and, and arm in a sweeping different way. Break out the silicone wedge and let's let's see what happens there. Smooth things out a bit. Bring out a plastic palette knife and make a few marks. erase a few marks and now my favorite circle making tools this is the insert for the um, brownie bites or the muffins that I was telling you about in an earlier video the big box stores that have bakeries, if they're uh, selling uh, large quantities of uh, baked goods, they use those inserts to set those little miniature bite size um, muffins on. And so I, ke I keep those, or I have kept them in the past. And I, I use them all the time. This is my, the, when I ordered glue sticks from Amazon, um, that, that's the piece of plastic they came packaged with. And we're going to see what happens with a piece of Somerset paper. We're going to wait five minutes and voila, we'll just see. Wow. 
Well, that looks like a pretty good transfer. Hmm. Interesting. Lots of variety. Variety of uh, marks and, of course, my favorite circle shapes. Okay, let's see. Now, I, these are my new Mylar masks um, featuring what else? Circles. I, I got these Mylar sheets and um, I think it's a package of 20 and they measure 12 by 12s. And so I started cutting them and you'll see numbers on them as I have kind of wanted to keep some order about how they fit together and when I wash them I want to make sure that I can can use them again and, and just just to have some order anyway um, you'll see T for top and B for bottom and L for left and R for right and M for middle so, um, and the numbers are just the order that I created them. Um, but anyway, they're, they're really, they're, they're ma I'm calling them masks, masks rather than stencils because they cover such a large area of the plate. So they're, they're masking out an area of, of the plate that will not get paint so um, only those open areas will get paint and I think you'll see what I mean uh, more of what I mean um, when I start pulling them off the plate after I've added color. I'm, I'm going to be using my my color shaper to apply the paint. Uh, I, I could use a smaller brayer, um, but I'm really wanting a different texture, uh, a different application. I a little, it's a little heavier. It, it does smooth it out. If I used a brayer, I think it would really smooth it out. But I'm really, I'm really wanting to keep a different, just a different um, application. See, I just want to try it and see what happens. I think that's the thing about art making for me now is um, not being afraid to try something something new it's it's kind of like being an explorer or an adventurer it, to, to have a sense of discovery I think you have to want to see what happens if I do this if I put this uh, smushy, heavier paint over this um, thin paint, or thin paint over heavier paint, a thick mark over a thin mark, or next to a hard edge next to a soft edge. And you'll see in the future that I'm I am going to be painting on my I've already started painting on my prints and I'm I'm thrilled 
I'm, I'm just really thrilled to use the print as a springboard for more creativity for collage for, for mixed media I guess maybe I'm spoiling the 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 pure printmaking process by doing that um, but oh well I think these four words in our language, I think they need to be in every artist's lexicon. Um, oh well, and so what? So what if my art is different than everybody else's? So what if I, if I choose to do it this way rather than that way? So, that's that's kind of my attitude my and it wasn't always that way here I'm using my comb I love my comb for making linear marks and I, I like to do that before I take the the stencils off or the masks off I love working with the, the mylar. Um, it's a heavier plastic um, or acetate or whatever whatever mylar is. I, don't, I guess it's just mylar. But um, Fulton was right when he said they're easier to clean. It's it's easier. They're easier to clean. Paint seems to just. You know, wipe right off. I can soak them and uh, the paint just wipes right off. So here we go. We'll wait five minutes and see what happens. Wow, I like it. Another layer. Um, I think there's there's not as much contrast as I had hoped, but that's okay. We can always add another layer. I like it. I like seeing the, the circle pattern underneath the, that, that's the area that I, ma I masked, <laughs> I cannot say that, that I masked off, that I covered up with the masks. Okay, here we have a, a mixture of different uh, stencils and masks, and I'm still using my color shaper. Um, the, the larger colored um, masks are, they're actually a colored transparency, uh, a plastic sheet. They're, they're kind of like the Mylar, but they're colored instead of clear. and. Uh, I've enjoyed working with them too. 
Now some of, some of the other colored pieces are older from the subject dividers that, that I cut up and used. Uh, I still like those too. And uh, I'm just creating another layer of paint. I'm adding the darker colors because I want more contrast in the values and um, the, the lighter color up in the top and the darker color at the bottom. It's kind of fun using the color shaper for this this step. Getting into those smaller spaces with paint and um, you know, working from the center of the stencil or the mask um, and and working outward and so that you don't have. Um, bleeding underneath the edge of your stencil. Maybe I had a lot of paint. I think sometimes when you use the brayer like that, that it helps you to remove uh, excess paint. Maybe I just wanted some variety. I don't know. We'll see. Offloading, cleaning, cleaning my shaper. Now we're going to take the stencils off. Actually, I like this part. I like seeing. I like seeing those shapes, the hard edges that the stencil leaves. I, I just, I just like. I, I'm a hard edge. I don't know. I really like hard edges and geometric shapes, and I like the contrast with with other things, but. No, if I, I don't think I've left any stencils there. Wiping around the edges so I can have a clean edge for my print. So far my registration, my system is working pretty well. I'm, I'm really pleased with my results. And here's the print that we're gonna we're gonna lay down and pull. Let's see how many layers is this? Oh, this might be three, might be four. I don't know. I think this is number four. So we'll wait five minutes. Okay, let's see what we have now. 
and this is layer number three. You can see my favorite pattern peeking through there. Right now, color-wise, it's kind of boring. It's very monochromatic. Um, but I hope you can see the difference that adding the darks made, the darks and lights. Um, and we'll just keep adding. I'm not real happy with the way that the yellow, I mean, when I bring the print closer to the camera, it looks kind of yellow. I hope you enjoyed my video and our time together today. Remember the four most important words for anyone, especially artists. Oh well, and so what? Now, go make some art and dream big.